Welcome, my name is Cohen Heldens and I'm a multi-platinum mixing engineer. In this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to mix a full song with Overloud plugins only. In the mix there is a bass sound that is more of a sine wave sub with a big issue because a lot of times when we want to play this back on let's say mobile phone devices or smaller multimedia speakers we will not even hear any bass at all. So another great tool that we can use for this is scope tube and we can overdrive the tubes so that we create over harmonics and these harmonics will enable us to hear the bass come through on multimedia speakers, little phone speakers, so it's audible to all audiences when they play back your mix. So let's insert scope tube on this bass. Let me play this bass back without it engaged. So this is the original bass. So if you're listening on your computer speakers, you probably didn't hear anything. And that's exactly the point. So let's engage scope tube. And what we're going to do is I want to put it on P1. This is a much more extreme distortion type. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move the bias down a little bit and move the drive knob up more so you can really hear how much more the bass becomes present out of the blue. So this is what scope tube engage and I'll play around with the drive and the bias. As you can hear the bass went from pretty much not audible to hey we have bass. So again I'll play it without the scope tube and play it again with the scope tube. So this is without it. And again this is with scope tube enabled. As you can hear the bass literally went from what I said before nothing to present. So now we have scope tube on this bass. I want to also redefine it a little bit more with EQ. So another great example on this one is the EQ84. So let's insert this one. And what I want to do is pretty much bring out more of the 220 to 350 hertz cycle so it, it boosts that low mid more of the bass to make it even more present and more warmer in the mix than just having a sine wave sitting there that 90% of the people probably can hear. So let's play it back and I'll put the EQ84 at 220 and I'll bring and raise this frequency up so we can hear if it does do the job properly that we want to do or if we have to move a band over and start moving around 350 hertz. So let's play it back and I'll move it up. Seems to be about the right sweet spot. Let's see what happens if we add a little bit more of 350 hertz in there. Let's move this down to 350. And let's figure out if that adds more or too much to it. So let's play it back and add it a little bit. So I'd rather leave it off because if you could hear when I moved up the dbs in the 350 hertz area just added a little too much of the distortion that will cloud up the rest of the mix so i leave it off and disable it so with a little bit of 220 we have enough bass there that we need for the mix so let me bypass the eq and enable the eq again so you can hear the difference so this is without it and this is with the eq enabled As you can hear, it lifts just the bass just enough out of the mix that we needed to have to be audible on all different types of speaker systems. So having that done, let me disable both scope tube and the EQ and then enable both of them again so you can hear the before and after. So this is with both of them disabled. And this is with both of them enabled. And again, you could clearly hear that the bass went from 
virtually not audible to audible. So that's another way of treating bass that is too low as far as frequency types go that we can lift out of the mix by using scope tube for distortion and a little bit of EQ to enhance just a little bit of the low mids to bring it out of the mix.